In this video, to be released with IDLE 12.8, we will try out the new face clustering action. This can be used to automate the creation of your face recognition watch lists. I've received these 10 images, which appear to be grouped into two sets by common names. My first task is to import them all into IDLE Media Server to be trained. I will use those file names to define two identities to import the images into. But we can see straight away that not all the faces in each identity correspond to the same person. Before we can run the face clustering action to try to fix that, we need to build all of these face images, which takes just a few seconds. The new face clustering action takes a parameter to define which database you want to cluster. Because all the faces have already been built, the clustering is quite fast, so we can run this action synchronously. In the response XML, we get um, a set of clusters, each cluster containing a number of faces. Uh, for this data set, we've got four unique clusters. Let's look at the first one and compare the image labels to the file names that we imported. Select them as we go. If we look at these three files, we see that the first cluster has correctly grouped together all the images of Sylvester Stallone. Now if we look at another cluster, we have one here with just one image which corresponds to the single image we have for Dolph Lundgren. Next, we're going to use this response from the face clustering action to create a new watch list with the images correctly grouped into the four identities we've discovered. Using this script to run the same action, we'll parse the response looking at each cluster, then we'll move each of our trained faces into the correct cluster. We now have a clean and accurate watch list to work with. This new action is going to save me a huge amount of time in building new watch lists. As we've seen, the only data it uses is the matches between the images themselves. It ignores any identifier that might have already been set to give you a clean grouping of faces in the watch list. You can set a threshold to tune this clustering behavior. For example, in this larger data set, by reducing the matching threshold, I can find more links between faces and generate my clusters. So this new face clustering action allows me to efficiently create or review large watch lists, which will both save me time and improve the quality of my future face recognition matches. Thank you and please get yourself a copy of IDLE 12.8 and start making clusters.